this time for another Straw Hat discussion video. In this week's Straw Hat discussion, we will be discussing about Princess Vivi, Pr Princess Nefertari D. Vivi, as of the recently, uh, uh, recently chapter where Princess Vivi has a D initial on, on her. So, yes. Princess Nefertari D. Vivi, yes, I do recognize her as an official member of the Straw Hat, though she only adventure in a short voyage compared to Kiniman and Mama Nosuke, for me she has a better char character chemistry with the straw hats which I enjoy the most. In this video we will be discussing Princess Nefertari Vivi's backstory, how she met and interacted with the straw hats and her motivation of the straw hats. But note that I will be skipping, skipping all of the combat capability because Princess Vivi does not possess any combat capability I mean she has like a stringed ring I don't even know what the name is but overall compared to Nami she does have she does lack that capability or physical attributes as well so yes so if there's anything I miss about Princess Vivi's character let me know in the comment section below additionally as I am going to talk about Vivi's current whereabouts, a spoiler warning as necessary. Furthermore, if you guys enjoy my content and you found the video informative, please do leave a like and subscribe. I do a lot of anime discussion, top 5 and top 10 videos and gaming contents in my channel. So without further ado, let's start shall we? I will try my hardest not to go on tangents. So, Nefertari Vivi is a princess of Alabaster Kingdom. She is the daughter of the now deceased, spoiler alert, Nefertari Cobra and Titi, and along with her entire rest of the family, she bears the D initial, which is another spoiler warning. When Vivi debuted as one of the main antagonists of the Reverse Mountain Arc as a bounty hunter under the alias Miss Wednesday, during this time, she partnered with the frontier agent, Mr. Nine. However, after the events at the Whiskey Peak arc, Vivi and her pet duck Karu ended up joining the Straw Hats for the most of Arabasta Saga or Alabasta Saga. Once she was discovered to be the spy plotting against Baroque Works, as Baroque Works was plotting to take over Alabasta at the time from the shadows and they chose Alabasta to rule over because it is a desert country which is perfect to rule rule to perfect ruling for Sir Kaka, the, the boss of Baroque works the user of the Suna Suna no Mi or the San San fruit not only it is the perfect rule for crocodile in a ge geographical sense it also possesses the secret to the ultimate weapon, Pluton's location. Vivi left the Straw Hats after the defeated Baroque Works in a very emotional way and stayed in her homeland. I still get goosebumps every time I rewatch that scene where they just raise their hands, like hands where they mark the X. Oh my goodness, I just literally just that was a heart drenching moment right there and stayed in her homeland which led to the most heart-wrenching goodbye in one piece but she is still considered a member of the straw hats as she has been keeping track of the straw hats progress as of the current story after escaping marie with queen wapo and vivi wait king wapo vivi and wapo became fugitives Hunted by Emu and the Gorose, Emu seems to have a keen interest in Vivi. Some has speculated that it could be romantic interest, but I kind of doubt it. I feel like it's something connected to the ancient Nefertari queen, which is Queen Lily. So I doubt it's more romantic, more like something in connection with Lily personally. So yes, that's what my thought is why Emu has some sort of interest with Vivi. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, likely connected to 
that they connected to how Vivi resembled the ancient queen of Alabaster from the void century, Queen Nefertari Lily, while as for Wapol is being hunted down by Emu, and the Goros is solely because he was sneakily, fo sneakily following King Cobra confronting the Gorose, and Emu joins the meeting between Cobra and the Gorose. And since the knowledge of knowing that having a single ruler of the world, Emu, existence is forbidden, after the confrontation, confrontation, Cobra was then killed by the Garase member, and likely so, even even uh, Wapo will be hunted down because of that knowledge of Emu. So, without further ado, again, that all ties into how Vivi was captured by Cyperpole and then Wapo was trying to run away against the go on against the to run away against the uh, what you call it against the Gorose members and even Sabo trying to protect Vivi as the uh, Vivi trying to protect Cobra trying to run away as well. So yes, <laughs> I know when I try to explain it, it's kind of <laughs> uh, confusing. But yes, that's what happened in Reverie. Sabo was involved, and then there's Cobra, Vivi was involved, and then Wapple, which just mind boggling like a joke villain character like Wapple getting a character whatchamacallit moment in Ravelry is just mind boggling for me. I, I still think Wapple is kind of a joke, that joke character. And the funny thing is, he's, he's the one who saves Vivi, the, the girl. He's gone on the last, on the last couple revery. So yes, the fact that he is now helping Vivi sa save Vivi's life, yeah, yeah, that's hilarious to me. That's quite ironic. <clears throat> where, where were we? Where were we? And even Frame, Sabo, who was also present and knew about Emo's existence, and was also present during the confrontation, but. Before Cobra's death, Cobra left a message to Vivi and Luffy for Sabo to tell. Vivi is a bearer of the will of D, and that also led to Vivi ha oh, Sabo having a slight flashback of Luffy and Ace giving Sabo uh, the initial, which is Sa Debo, which also translates to Sad Boy, kind of opposite to Joy, but I kind of I kind of like that. I kind of like that nickname for Sabo there, Sadi Boy, because technically he's a noble that defected to the nobility to become a revolutionary. So Sadi Boy definitely is a fitting name for Sabo. Just saying. So yes, that's everything that happened. Everything that happened in Reverie as of the current story, which is definitely gonna be labeled all all. A spoiler of his what? current whereabouts is with the new school as he as she did escape as she did escape world the world government with Wapo of all people and since Wapo have a connection to big news mortgage and promising the big bird the biggest scoop of scoop of news of the world to Morgans, so Morgans helped Vivi and Wapo out, making both Sabo and Wapo the worst people to find out about Emu because of their connection to dragons and Morgans, respectively. Wapo also was the one who told Vivi that of what happened to Marijua, which she already knows. She already knows about his dad being killed by Gorso when we we seen her next and was crying the entire night and days about I mean understandably I mean if you're told your dad was killed by the world government of course you'd be bawling your eyes out. Now she is on track to meet the Strats again and the crew that she can rely on the most. I just love how, I just love that Vivi, a character who is at the very first 
saga of the Grand Line. And yet Oda is still fleshing her character out. From the Dressrosa, from the Dressrosa arc to the current with the with how the Nefertaris was one of the original 20 family that started the world government but decided to stay on Alabasta and not become a celestial dragons that alone make the Nefertari much more respectable than the other 20 families until now with the event in, on the reverie I think the Nefertaris and in general it's just a respectable royal family without further ado I have to expand upon why Wapple and Sabo is by far the worst people to find out about Emu just saying because Sabo is a revolutionary army right this is a tangent that I'm willing to go by Sabo is a revolutionary army the very first thing he did when meeting Dragon was directly to Dragon and reporting all what happened to Dragon then again Sabo became by being famed of Cobra's killer a Scarbreast murderer or an aliver. She was all he was also revered as the flame emperor of Rev of revolution as well. So with that alone, he did became kind of popular and then revered upon in the masses. And the fact that he's revered also make him a bad a terrible person to find out about Imu and then there's the whole dragons connection thing and then there's also Wapo with Morgan's connection now everyone in the world will know who Emu is so yes the fact that that is now the reality of things and now Emu's, Emu as a ruler of the world will soon be rebuilt to, will soon be revealed to the masses I just think Wapo and Sabo being the people who knew Emu just that's just a twist of fate right there without further ado that's that's mm -hmm. this relationship with the straw hats traveling with the straw hats Vivi had a great amount of respect for Monkey D. Luffy both as a captain and as a friend she openly feels amazement and disbelief of Luffy's strength and abilities she also shows concern with Luffy's recklessness as well. Secondly, Aurora, Noah, Zoro. Vivi was originally antagonistic towards Zoro as she did in the whole uh, reverse mountain arc when she was still in Baroque Works at Whiskey Peak as well. She boldly tried to kill him and greatly underestimated him after her identity was discovered and she began to travel with the crew Zoro got along with Vivi and Vivi calling Zoro Mr. Bushido as a nickname however when leaving Alabasta and after saying goodbye to Vivi Zoro seems unperturbed adds more to Zoro's stoic nature after learning about Learning about the events in Reverie at Traveling, Zoro was the only one who did not panic and stated that Zo that Vivi can take care of herself as he trusted her. Thirdly, third member of the strap, Nami. She and Nami also became good friends. Their personality seemed to be opposite. Nami has a hot tempered disposition while Vivi is a, a bit more calmer and collect more collected they switch personalities when something worrisome happens become Nami becomes a bit more calmer that da calm down and Vivi panics it goes to show that Nami has more experience in seafaring than Vivi the two formed a quick bond and work together in most situations. During Nami's fight with the Dub Miss Double Finger, Nami said that being stabbed in the foot at the time was nothing compared to the pain Vivi felt for her country. Initially, Nami wanted 
we need to pay a billion berries for us as for their assistance however because because of the bond they made throughout the journey nami decided to give up on the demand for the sake of their friendship fourth is usap vv and usap Vivi and Usopp worked well together on more than one occasion and were concerned for each other's well-being. After seeing Luffy grabbing Usopp's nose, she developed a ten tendency, tendency to grab on his nose as well as a means of getting his attention or a handle which he could be dragged. Very comedically center there Ooh. Sanji fifth member of the Straw Hats aside from Sanji's fighting skills and strengths Vivi was also greatly impressed with Sanji's cooking skills in turn Sanji immediately warmed up her warmed up to her and greatly showed attraction towards her on multiple occasions however Vivi showed mostly confusion from Sanji's action towards her. She quickly became one of the three affections of Sanji and defended, defended her in the same degree as he did Nami and later Robin. Two years later, Sanji showed great delight in seeing Vivi's pictures in the newspaper. Very delight. Got very great delight indeed. Sixth member of the Straw Hats is Tony, Tony Chopper. She finds Chopper, same as Robin, adorable and calls him Tonykin, which is a very adorable way of addressing Chopper, by the way, which launches Chopper into into one of his happy dances, which is which is just cute. Like I love the happy, Chopper, Chopper happy dance, dancing and the reverse hiding that he does. I, I love that quirky, adorable nature of uh, chopper seventh member of the straw hats is Nico Robin she was not upset when she learned that Luffy took Nico Robin the former Miss All Sunday and and their one-time enemy into his crew rather than questioning his motives Luffy's motives she decided to trust in Luffy's judgment on the matter and that is all of her interaction and relationship with the crew without further ado that is it for my content did i miss anything about princess vivi nefertari or is there anything you wanted to ask or add without further ado that would be it for this week's strat discussion if you did find this informative and if you like my content please do leave a like and subscribe as i do a lot of anime discussion top 5 top 10 and even gaming contest on this channel without further ado. See you guys in the next big video. Without further ado, see you and keep the grind going. Bye!